Hi and welcome to this Material Manager installation and first steps video. I'd like to give you a, a short introduction in how you can install Material Manager, what to take care of and how to uh, in, install in 3ds Max so you can get up starting uh, fast. Now uh, when you run the installer you'll get this screen. This is the most recent version 132. Um, agree. Now you can select whether you want anyone using your computer can to use Material Manager or just yourself. So depending on how many user accounts you want to use this for, choose either anyone or just you. Then um, you will be able to select for which 3ds Max versions you can install. Um, in this case I'm just having 3ds Max 2019 installed so this is only pre-selected. Next you can choose the default location where you install the Material Manager application and additional files, uninstall, script, etc. I'll also keep this as it is. And um, next you can choose whether you want to install Material Manager, the library in standalone mode in which you would alone use Material Manager's library or in, install, uh, install in teamwork mode which means that you can use this uh, with multiple um, people in your team via network. Um, there will be another tutorial on this um, so I'll choose standalone mode for now. Um, the default library location is um, on your main drive um, in a folder, in a hidden folder um, called app data, etc. Um, there is also another tutorial on how you can move the library if you chose this location. But if you want to use a different location, for example, if you want to have the library on network drive, choose custom library location. Um, choose the, the network uh, or whatever drive you want to have this on. In this case, I'm choosing the um, network location, which doesn't work at the moment. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, so um, I'll uh, create a new folder called um, MM Shared Library. Select this one, and now all the bitmap files and associated material preset files will be installed in this folder. Click Next, Install. Once um, this is installed, right now it's installing the default thumbnail max scene files for each renderer that Material Manager supports. Um, some basic presets are being installed, all the associated files. Um, then it's ready. I'll start 3ds Max. And finish this one. And uh, there's only one further step necessary to um, get Material Manager shown up. And this is to create macro um, buttons. So uh, you have this accessible directly from the main UI. This is, this is also pretty easy. And uh, in a moment when 3ds Max has been fully started up, I'll show you. Okay, so um, go to customize and uh, customize user interface. Now um, I'm creating buttons in a toolbar, which means I'll create a new toolbar. I, you can also drag one to any of the existing ones, but I prefer to have a separate toolbar for the VizPod Material Manager, Manager buttons. Call this VP or Viz, Viz Park. And uh, yeah, it's hidden here, so drag this aside, then select VP Material Manager and drag these buttons onto the UI, uh, onto the toolbar. That's it. And then you can drag it anywhere you want. You can also choose to save this uh, in your UI folder as a default. And when you click Open Material Manager, it will open up. Now, you'll see that the user library, which is the online library, has 172 presets and you don't see any presets in here. And this is because no library presets have been installed. The, the important thing you need to know um, when you open this for the first time is that you should 
be careful with um, one setting, which is show only materials compatible with the active renderer. This is on by default, which means if you open Material Manager um, now, then an attribute is pre-selected that only shows the presets compatible with this renderer. Now I've changed to V-Ray and when I open this uh, Material Manager, V-Ray is the pre-selected renderer attribute. Since I don't have any presets in here, no uh, presets will show up. But I can update the user library. Click on this button and uh, this will update the database with all of the, the available presets from within the user library. This will take a moment as it also downloads all of the, the um, thumbnail files. But once this is done, you um, can download presets from the user library. Okay, here they are. And uh, if you want, you can now download any of these presets. Uh, you can pre-select attributes here. You can uh, cancel all of the attribute selection. Um, you can select, uh, deselect presets that you don't want to see. Um, you can select those. You can deselect maps, materials. And if you right click, um, you'll just see the ones soloed basically from uh, one specific plugin or generic. Um, if you want to download presets now, um, click on the download button. You'll um, see this message and this is because the light edition which comes with the 3 with the excuse me this park presets uh, plugins for free uh, won't download generic presets um, so you need to have material manager pro in order to use those since i don't have any 3ds max this park plugins installed yet i uh, need to uh, activate the license and this can be done using the license manager which, which is accessible from this tab on license manager and uh, once you're logged in I'm all logged in here already you will see this license and I can I have one subscription and one trial license for free uh, free available in my account so I'll activate one click activate does this the activation online checking the license in your user account and now I have the license and here it says pro instead of just light edition now when I want to download a preset now I can click this fill in my user account and download the presets if I want to okay um, Assignment of presets is pretty easy. You can drag and drop presets onto the material manager, uh, excuse me, onto the uh, material editor. Uh, you can uh, assign them to geometry. And yeah, that's the way it works. If you want to save presets, use this option and select the one that you want to save and click save material and it automatically creates a thumbnail and saves the presets within to this library. All right. That's uh, the basic basics for Material Manager and I hope uh, you get a quick start without problems and uh, if you have any problems let us know and we'll try to help as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching.